salute all of the family members who are here and to say thank you in a manner of speaking for coming out on this auspicious day to pay tribute to a son of the soil. For me, this in many ways is a teachable moment. A teachable moment because today we see all of us have come out to honor the memory and the work and the contribution of one of Nevis's most favorite songs. We have come, and you notice at the platform, we have the NRP, and we have the CCM, and we have the People's Labour Party, and we have the clergy from their own movement and party, if you will. I believe that Sim Daniel would have loved this moment. Love the moment when the people of Nevis and the people of St. Kitts could come together to honor the contribution of one of our own. This, to me, is part of the significance of today. And I feel delighted as a son of this federation, but more so as a son of a Nivisian father and a Kittishian mother. A Kittishian father who lived in Paris constituency for many years. And so most of my family members surely would have voted time and time again for the honorable <laughs> Paris. In fact, we are part and parcel of the real family of Nevis, and he is a relative of mine. I don't make the habit of counting whether it is first or second or third, because for me, family is family. But I believe that it is fitting that an important message that should come on this occasion is that we as a people must learn to honor our own and honor our own for their outstanding contribution. Today we are here because Sir Simeon Daniel, Dr. Daniel, towered above the politics and beyond the politics he saw Nevis, an island, which for him needed appropriate representation. He wore the alleyways and byways, attempting to deliver a better Nevis. And history would record, at least if history was to take the view of Paris, that he accomplished that very well. And we want to hail him for his contribution of service on behalf of the people. But in fighting for Nevis, he was fighting for our federation. And that is why it was important to draw the link between his ascendancy in Nevis to leadership, and in particular, political leadership and his ability to maneuver beyond the island politics to see greater good and greater advantage coming from the unity of our federation. The independence constitution has long been described as unique. Unique for many things. Unique for 113 unique in many areas in terms of the enormous power that was this devolved from the federal entity to the Nevis Island Administration. That in part is due to the commitment of Dr. Daniel to the maintenance 
of the Federation. And in order to maintain it, importantly, in my view as a student of politics, in order to maintain it, you recognize that Nevis had to feel as a welcome partner in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. We are committed as a team unity government to ensure always that Nevis feels itself to be a special part of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. When Nevis rises, St. Kitts and Nevis as a federation rises also. And for me, as the head of a team unity administration, I pledge always to ensure fairness, equality, empowerment for all the people of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Someone said that Dr. Daniel, our national hero, was committed to unity. Indeed, unity is a philosophy for development. Unity must become the modus operandi for all of us, particularly those of us in small island states, of which we in the Caribbean are the quintessential small island states. When we act from a vantage point of unity. We can do what we are today doing. We can celebrate Dr. Daniel's contribution to the landscape of Nevis and to the landscape of St. Gitts and Nevis without taking notice of the color or the party. Because when we are committed to the agenda of unity, Party is submerged. Country is what must take precedence. And it is for his outstanding contribution to the country that I love that I come to give solidarity, to give support, and to say thank you, Dr. Daniel, for your work on behalf of all the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. And as we cherish your memory, we thank those who saw it as a most fitting way to memorialize your contribution to make a donation of this bus. Equally, citizens and residents would recall that in our creation of our National Heroes Park, we have committed that all of our National Heroes will have equal space and visibility in that park. And so we are happy that the national hero will be here very visible to all on the island of Nevis, and equally he would be visible on the island of St. Kitts. The final point I wish to make by way of observation is that national heroes, by their very designation, they do not belong exclusively to family. They do not belong exclusively to party. They belong to the country. And it is their values, their service, that we offer up to the rest of the country to say that these are values that can help us in the path of nation building. To all those who labor then with Dr. Daniel, I say thank you for your contribution. I recall way back then as a student, among those who were part of the journey in the initial years of the 80s were the right honorable and right excellence, Sir Dr. Kennedy Simmons, could we give him a round of applause? The only surviving national hero. At the side then was then Deputy Premier and latterly Deputy Prime Minister, now Ambassador Michael Powell, and he's here. 
And I want to thank all those friends and colleagues of his in the NRP who gave him the opportunity to serve and the space to lead not only the party, but to lead and make a contribution federally. Thank you very, very much for giving me this opportunity to speak. To God be the glory. This is a great day for all of us in this country. I thank you. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.